color. And as you bring it up, it'll actually lift both wheels off the ground. So you can get one in there under that front, that rear jack point supported with a jack stand. Yeah, you might make sure the jack point's still there. I knocked, in, I knocked, knocked two of them off the autocross, and then I found them and put them back on. But then <laughs> ease it down. Of course, I had to turn around. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And here you can see we just lifted the car up. First step, get it in the air, and then we've popped both of the rear wheels. And that's a 17 inch socket that goes in behind the bar. And that's a, or a 17 inch or 17 millimeter open end wrench. And a 16 inch socket that we're using twisting opposite of each other to get that steering linkage for the. Uh, that linkage off of the stock sway bar. Thirteen. God, we'll, be, we'll be so knowledgeable about sway bars. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Thirteen. We're expecting catch. It's already set up. Spun out, you know, like that. I'll put that back on there. Like that. Yeah, make sure you don't lose that nut. Yeah. We had two small. Yeah, if you get a good look at it, coming up from underneath, there's two bolts, one right there, and one right there, let me back out, as you can see, it's on either side of that large spring, and you've got to pull both of those out. Hard to see from there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the other one's even harder to see. Yep, yeah, but there's two bolts that stick up and hold that suspension tower in place. Yeah. What size socket you get on there? 13 millimeter. 13. I have to pull it over the side to get it out of its little socket. Yep. So we're pressing down on the disc of the brake. It's And trying to pull that the shock tower out of the way. Looks like I think it'll come further back, guys. Let me push and you pull. <laughs> now you can see that the sway bar right here is loose. What size? That the steering bracket is gone. That we moved this spring towards the back. And our next target are these two bolts. This is the actual sway bar that we're going to replace, and these two bolts hold down a bracket and the bushing, oh, you got the so we can pull that bar out. Yeah. That's funny. You got. See that one right there? Yeah. This here, one, we just pulled the two bolts from right out of here. Are the two that, two that we have to undo on both sides. It causes that side. sway bar to come real loose. Okay. We have to get, we have and you to can get pull this that whole bracket and bushing separated so right off of there. The right. So the whole bar is shaking around in there. All right, now the next thing you got to do is detach the subframe from the body. And there's two bolts on an S or a Cooper. One is right here. And you can see I'm looking, there's the brake drum. So it's just inside, and there's a large box frame right here that you can stick your finger in the end. All right, and there's your bolt that you're looking for. So there's that bolt we were just talking about. It's a 16 millimeter. Now there's another one. You got to crawl under the car to see. Get yourself up under there. And where did it go? <laughs> here we go. You can see there's a. I think it's an analog brake sensor right here. And right behind it, there's a bracket up here with two holes in it. And the inside hole towards the center of the car has a bolt in it. That's another 16 millimeter bolt that holds the subframe onto the body of the car, and that one's got to come out as well. 
And there's, so there's two on each side of the car, both on the driver's side and the passenger side. So you got to take all four of them out. We match into his car. <laughs> For those of you with the cabrio, follow the exhaust pipe right there back. There's the all the way back, and you can see there's the metal heat shielding back here. This is the exhaust pipe, and there's a bolt. The fifth subframe bolt is right up here. 16 millimeter? Yes. Right? And this is the piece of the heat shielding right here that we had to bend back to find that bolt. But, uh, sacrifice is good, right? Now you have to pry down that you have the pry bar over there? Yeah, yeah it's just a little bit this one's a little thicker bar than the one we got. Yep. There you go, you're good. So you always have to insert these suckers from the driver's side. And when you come over to the passenger side, sometimes you have to pry down on that subframe, that box bar. So you can fit that, get it around, and thread that thing through the shock tower where the spring right. is there. Next is put the subframe back up. It's bright yellow. You can see it in there, and they packed it with grease, both on the outside and the inside of it. You want to try and get that bracket back in there? There's a little black bracket that goes up on the top of that, and two bolts. You know what size those bolts are? Were those 13? These are 13. 13. 13 millimeter. They go down on top, and those suckers are a pain in the ass to get threaded and get back on there. Let me get on this side. And as you're putting all these things back together, of these two bolts, put the one that's toward the front of the car in first, and it'll make your life a little easier. All right, now here's the hard part. Trying to get the subframe back up to where it touches the bottom of the car and lines up those bolts as you're putting everything back together again. As you can see, we're underneath the car. There's the driver's side rear brake disc. And here's the floor jack. And on the floor jack is a large hammer. Okay? And you can see that hammer sticking up. And it's touching that, uh, there was that inside subframe bolt that was screwed in there. We took it out and there were two holes. So this is touching the outside hole that's not being used, and we just jacked that sucker up and lifted the subframe up up against the bottom of the car, and then align those that yeah, hole up yeah. so that you can get those inside Jeez. subframe bolts in. Once you get those in and get them up pretty tight, the bottom ones, the outside subframe bolts that go in right here, are going to be a lot easier to take care of.